Hello, I'm Skid from Widescreen Game Informer, and welcome to episode 50 of my blind Dark Souls 2 playthrough. I am recording this immediately after ending my last recording. We are on death 267. We're 267. We are closing in on my target of 300, and I'm not quite sure how long is left in this game. So, we are going to progress on from here. The guide tells us that we should not bring light, as it will only agitate the dark. Or the death. The denizens of this place. I see them. I hear them. Oh no, that's not them I hear. Oh, it is them I hear. I really don't want to take two of them on at once, if so if, that's right, if you can come towards me. No, keep coming, keep coming. I want to take you on in an advantageous location. Even with his shield, he dies in the next hit. The other dude is carrying a spear, not a shield. Oh, well, he's got a shield, but he's carrying a spear, not a sword. I did see the item back there, I'm just checking. It said right, try jumping. I don't think jumping is actually the solution. I think it's more a case of try walking off. But how do you get back up? There doesn't appear to be a ladder there. It looks like if I drop down there, then I've got to use a homeward bone to get back. There's also a gap. The drop is going to do damage to me one way or the other. So, let's fall off. see no I think it was just souls that I saw no there is something down there there's something down there but there's nothing anything on it spice another great soul or another usable soul quite something ahead This would be a chest to trap, because there's nowhere to go. Woman therefore miracles. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? It didn't give me a spell. Did it? Oh, those are all the spells that I already had. I do not know what it's on about. Okay, we see the mist. 
We acknowledge the existence of the mist. We acknowledge the probability of death behind the mist. So we prefer as such. There is a path down there. We'll take the damage from this fall this time round. Whoa. Didn't mean to run off. Chest ahead. Ladder up. Something attacked him. Soul Vessel. That's the item to reset my stats. I've now got six of them. I think. Five of them. Crushed Eye Orb. Invade the world of a traitor. So what's the difference between that and that? The guilty of a traitor. Fan off? What about you? Screw it. It tells me to try a torch, so let's do what the other dude told us not to do. Oh great. I get the feeling that the undead that are around here are not going to be too happy that I've just done that. Although I can now see quite well. Okay, let's go up. Running out of magic weapons. Soul, nothing worthwhile. Ladder down. Bonfire. No way back up. It's not really worth me using this particular weapon on him. Well, there's the other mist, so for the sake of traverse the mist first. There we go. So, are they coming at me? Not yet. Oh! 
Whoa! That wasn't what I was trying to do. Did I get many souls for that? Hang on, let me, because my spell count is low. That is an AOE, AOE, AOE spell. Okay, so he just appeared. Ah, no, he didn't appear. He was actually there. He appears out of it. So here's the question. Is he actually worth many souls? That's fine by me, my souls are literally just outside the door of the bonfire. So they can kill me fairly quickly. So what is this blue flame that I just picked up? said it was a weapon, didn't it? Yeah, it wasn't a scroll. It definitely said I picked up a weapon and the weapon was blue flame. There it is, it's a sword. It's a mage's sword. Intriguing. Whoa! It deals a lot of magic damage. Interesting. Okay, so souls are just the other side of the door. Crap it. Um... This place would actually be a decent for farming souls if I wanted to. Because I think these guys spawn endlessly. But for the time being, let's just avoid them. I do want to get over there though. Ladder. Titanite Chunk, Petrified Dragon Bone, very nice. Please don't destroy the big tombstone, they might come in handy. Hello. Oh no, you are hostile? Friendly? Hostile. You are hostile because I can target you. Whoa! Okay, she is dangerous. Dried fingers. Shivers better. By the number of knuckles, it couldn't be human, but perhaps some questions are best left unasked. So, what the hell does it do? 
Well, you're down there. If I could target you, I'd try to jump on top of you. Whoa! That isn't fair, you should not be allowed to jump through stones! Knuckles, no that's a different one isn't it? It's... That's an entirely... Slows... Oh! I haven't picked up any of those types yet! Another nameless usurper, is he invading from that direction? No, I think it's just the light. I was going to say, this wall looks different to the other walls. But I think it's just because the light's in this corner. No, there's definitely something up with that bit of wall. It's indented. Whoa! That's not fair! It's a good job he doesn't do much damage, but still, that's cheap. I'm guessing that is intentional to take a, take advantage of people who... Because the way I've seen people open illusionary walls before is they just walk into them effectively. And then they sort of like open for them. So I'm guessing that those particular monsters are specifically designed to take advantage of people doing that. I mean, the wall is literally gone from here. It isn't there. But... Yes, I know there's an illusionary ball ahead, but it won't open for me. don't know what I'm supposed to do if an illusionary wall doesn't open for me. Oh, 
I'll sneak on ahead. This definitely looks like a place where things are going to come out of the wall at me. Yeah, no, those I'm just going to... Just better to hit them with a spell. That wall does not look safe. Yeah, I didn't think that wall looked safe. I put the message right there. They obviously can't get through this hole. Whoa, he's behind me. Oh crap. Uh, uh. <laughs> I kind of thought there's probably a hole behind me when I rolled backwards. Uh, <laughs> so many ways to go. Um, here's a question. Does this allow me to see phantoms? Will this scare phantoms off? Bell. Not safe. Oh, shite. Um, shite, 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 shite. I can't ring the bell, apparently they can. Um, Okay, 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 um... We're just gonna run around in circles for a bit. Holy shit! I don't think I'm going to bother trying to get those souls back. <laughs> Right, I guess I can't ring that bell, but I guess those monsters can. And that's basically what got me. They rung the bell and that woke everything up. Oh, he did destroy that one. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't destroy them. You lady need to die quickly. Okay, I don't think there was an enemy specifically in here. Enemies in the wall. damage will this do through their shields? Fuck all. <laughs> Worth knowing. Oh, 
Well, bugger me, you can actually fit through here. That's fine, if you can keep coming, I'll kill one of you. And then the other dude. Come at me, bro. There's a great... There's a wall here. I'd like to try and open it. If you could, please. That didn't do it. Try again, please. No, no, no. The wall. Aim at the wall. Yeah. Not how you do it. Worth a try. Still won't open? Still won't open. Okay, so do not let anything hit those stone bells. Crap, down is the only way I can go. And if I go down, I can't get back up and my souls are down there. Okay, fair enough. So, wall, 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 how do I open you? Let's examine the room. I mean, you can quite clearly see that the wall isn't there, but... Or that the wall is different. I can't see anything in the room that would open it. I don't know. Do I still have my ring of regeneration on me? No, I'm not. I put that one on. Why'd I put that one on? I don't like the sound of that. Well, that didn't open the... Yeah, no, let's change that ring. I don't like that sound. That is a very nasty sound. Mm. We'll put it back on the ring of regeneration. I can't spend all episode standing here trying to figure out why this damn wall won't open. Can't see a lever anywhere, can't see a switch anywhere. Maybe there's something to do with something in here. It's a possibility. Okay, let's delve back into the deep. I cannot let the total number of those get out of control. I need to avoid the bigger statues. Uh, souls, they're over there.
shit. Damn you. I did collect my souls, didn't I? I'm not going to break down any of those. Don't mind me. Too late. Quit it with the magic stones. Now you're just tormenting me. Sup? Sup? He's over here. And there's one here-ish. One here-ish. Come on. Thank you. Thought I heard something behind me. Okay. I need to find the hole my souls are down. If I find the holes my souls are down, then I can simply just run at it. I also want that spell equipped or to begin with. Because that's where the bell was. Damn it. There, quick, quick, quick. Bollocks! This way. <laughs> Are they fighting each other? There are items in there. I want the items. spell. Well, that's okay. My, my souls now mark... That's a powerful pyromancy. My souls now mark the direction I need to be heading to get safely out of there. 271. Yeah, I'm not going to mess around in this area, they, particularly with monsters that just appear 
to ruin your day. So I tried to run at him and attack him, but that didn't kill him quick enough. I see you coming. You're lumbering a little bit too quick, I'm afraid. Little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, for the sake of not having them here when I bring the shield guys over. I wonder if I can destroy those bells. I wonder if that's a thing. wanted you to lock, not turn the camera around. God damn it, this is a PC game. Why the hell can't I have a button for everything? Why must you share buttons? Oh, triple attack. Oh, they're worth 2,000 souls each. Nice. Okay, so identify the location of my souls. They're down there somewhere. Come on, I should be able to see them from up here. There they are. He's going for the bell! There, I've got the wrong spell attached anyway. There's the bell. Never mind. So I'm just looking around. I thought I saw a fly buzz past my head. I did. I thought I killed that one. It's been irritating me all day. It's just a little fly, but I've sprayed it directly with fly spray and the bugger still lives. Try torch and then below. Haven't I been down there? Is this going to raise those up? Shortcut? It doesn't look like there's anything down there that I haven't already got. Chest. Not a mimic. Probably still going to kill me. <sighs> Actually, I think that dark stone is a stone I haven't got yet. It is. 
There you go. Stone I haven't got yet, but I still haven't got the pale stone that I need or want. That I want or need. There's guards down there. So I'm guessing that's the boss. I can now loop all the way around so I don't need to worry about those. I should have attacked him with a spell. Can you stop ringing, please? Thank you. Well, at least I successfully identified that there was a danger there. Those guys die pretty quickly to spells. hit him from here? If the answer is yes, then I'm going to. Okay, King's Guards. I was out of range of that. That should have hit me. There's a decent number of King's Guards over there. If one of you, just one of you, could come my way, please. Beautiful. Four more left. Plenty of skeletons around here, but no. Items.
give this one another go. Actually, no, heal first. <laughs> one more try. No, the timing of that was just way out. Two more. That passed through him. Will you not come at me? I wish I could cancel a spell. That probably would have hit him if I had the faster cast time of my other staff. Your turn. There's a shield bash, isn't there? But not a shield bash, but a shield break. I've only ever done it by accident, though. So that's enough level or enough souls to level up twice. And for all intensive purposes, I'm expecting that there'll be a boss in here. Well, we shall try him at least once. We are fully human. This is supposed to be the king. Let's meet the guy. That's a mace. That's a big ass mace. Oh shit. Stamina. Drink. Double shit. Damn you. I've got to get past this guard to get back to him. Did I ever commit? No, I don't think I ever committed. 
I think that was just a bad timing. Okay, so the way out of here is around here. What we need to do is make sure that that guy can absolutely not ring the bell. So he can no longer summon them. We'll spare that weapon as long as we can. Oh. You wasn't the guy I was trying to get the attention of. I also forgot to change my equipment to the right lot. Uh. Yeah, we'll do it now. Come at me, Bo. Irritating sods. Good, one down. One I can deal with. He says as he takes a clean hit he could have avoided. Okay, so a couple of swordsmen's left that I can take on one at a time, I think. Oh. We've already identified that these guys will not come down from their hill, or at least not easily. Pure's guard will be back up before I can do anything about it. Thank you. Come on, stay away from that. God 
Damn it. I don't want to be using all of these flasks on these guys. I hate how they can hide behind their shield. Get your ass down here. Coward. I was behind him. There is no way in hell that should have hit me. Down to three flasks. I got the high ground now. Okay, so initially I can hit him a bunch of times with this. At least twice. For the rest of the fight I just want to be paying. Okay, get my souls back. Heal. Damn you! Why'd you have to swing forward when I rolled past him? I'm even locked onto him. Damn it! I could have had him. I need to rethink my spells and then I will end the episode. Maximum damage in a minimum amount of time. That spell is not useful. That spell has too long a casting time. I need something that can deal with the the dudes beforehand. Something that can break their guard or something.
Huh, how many spells do I get for food? Maybe I should just use my katana against them. Because their shield renders most of my spells mute. I need to get in close range or disrupt their... Shockwave could do it. We'll take that. Okay, so we'll leave it there for the day, and we shall head back and try and finish him off tomorrow. Or, for me, in the next few minutes. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. So, well, that just leaves me to say, once again, thank you, and hopefully I will see you next time.